Hello friends, Srinivas here. Welcome to our channel. Uh, today we'll see another exciting topic in uh, Oracle Fusion. We'll try to understand today what is a reference data set and uh, what is the use of it. And uh, usually that uh, reference data sets, actually the reference data set is a new concept in uh, Oracle Fusion. And uh, it was not available in EBS. Let us understand the concept of uh, reference data set and how it works. Okay. So here you can see what is reference data set. Okay. The reference data set in Oracle Fusion application allows either the sharing of master data objects. Okay master data objects like configuration data, setup data, okay, like payment term, setup books, and many other setups across business unit or makes it exclusive to a specific business unit. Okay. So there are two purposes of reference data set. Either it will uh, allow to share the setup data or restrict the setup data. So we'll try to understand this concept of uh, reference data sets uh, with one example. Okay. So now we have two business units, Canada business unit and Australia business unit. And uh, each of these business units have any specific reference data set. Okay. So Canada business unit, let me go to system and see what is the reference data set assigned for Canada and Australia? Canada business unit. So for Canada, CABU sets, I have mentioned here, CABU set is assigned for Canada business unit. For Australia, it is AU BU set. Okay, so AU BU set. So now our purpose is with the help of reference data set. Okay, so payment term is net 30, and this for payable payment term will make it exclusively for Canada business unit. How can we do this? So we'll go to next setup that is business unit set assignment, right? Use for that specific business unit. So select the Canada business unit. Okay. So for Canada business unit, so this is the setup or tax or managed set assignment for Canada business unit. Okay. So here in this setup, what we can do, there are a lot of setup components available and uh, we have to specify your uh, reference data set against each of the setup. And uh, this reference data set will decide whether you want to exclusively use this setup for Canada or for other business unit. So in this example, we have uh, payment term. Similarly, you can see a lot of setups here. So We'll go to payment term, payable payment term. Okay. So for this payable payment term, you can see it's assigned US business unit. Okay. So we'll make it and change it to Canada. So that it will be used and uh, we can use this uh, payment term setup for Canada. 
So what is the view set for Canada? CA view set. Okay. So this setup is done. Now we have specified that uh, any payment term, okay, any payment term or any payable payment term which is assigned to CA view set can be used by Canada Business Unit. Okay. So close it. And uh, we go to manage payment. Payable payment. So now just try to understand that let us let us uh, go to create invoice page and try to create one invoice for Canada first. Okay. And uh, we'll see if we are able to use this uh, net 32 payment term or net 30 payment term for Canada business unit or not. So go to payment term list of value and uh, I don't think you are not able to see anything here, right? So now how can we enable this net 30 payment term for Canada? So now here is the next setup. We we'll go to net 30 payment term. And uh, we'll assign the reference data set here. What is the reference data set? CA view set. Okay. So now this payment term is now enabled for Canada business unit. So Canada business unit only can share, sorry, only can use this payment term during payable invoice process. So let us uh, go and create invoice. Canada business unit. So now you can see the net 30 payment term, right? So it is now available in LAV and uh, you can use this payment term for Canada. Okay. So now, now this is the first purpose of reference data set. That means we have make it exclusively to a specific business unit. So this is the first purpose. What is the second purpose? Reference data set can do. So with the help of reference data set, you can also share the specific set of data to other business unit. So that is the next setup. So now this net 30 payment term, it is only enabled for Canada business units. Now this we want to use it for Australia business unit also, right? How can you do this? In the same way, you can go to payment term. Okay. So now, you, if you see for Australia business unit, this payment term is not available. Net 30 payment term, right? If you see, this is not available in the LOB. Not sure why it is defaulting here, but actually it cannot be used by Australia Business Unit 
because this payment term is not enabled for Australia. So now again go to setup, manage payment term, and go to net 30 payment term. And again, add the Australia reference data set, right? What is the Australia data set? AUBU set. Okay. So now this payment term is enabled for Australia, right? Now let us see if we are able to create transactions with this uh, payment term or not. Now you can see in LOB still this net 30 payment term is not showing for Australia. So now we have to do the set assignment setup for Australia. Okay. Select the Australia <coughs> select the Australia business unit. And manage set assignment Australia business units. Go to payment term, payable payment term. So here, what you can do? Change it to Australia. Okay. Australia view set. So now this payment term setup is now enabled for Australia view. Seven close. If you select Australia as the business unit, you can see right. So now Net 30 payment term is available for the AP invoice process. So this is the concept of reference data set. Okay. So with the help of reference data set, you can uh, use the any of the setup components, either uh, make it exclusive for a specific entity, or you can share the setup data with the other entity. So it basically partitions the master data objects on which we use get access to it. Okay. So once you assign this reference data set to any specific uh, setup, so based on this uh, reference data set, a and business unit can either use this setup or not. That will be decided. Thank you guys. I hope you understand the concept. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to get the latest update.